What is going on guys, one more thing bring us a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now last couple episodes we talked about quarterbacks that could come to Washington. And we're going to continue that trend. I saw a lot of people really enjoyed the Dak Prescott video, so I thought my next video should just be another quarterback conspiracy of who could come to Washington. And if we're going to really jump into conspiracy theories, because we know Dak is a long shot, let's go into the longest shot. Of all of them. You know? Strike about the iron's hot. While the rumor mill is just swirling around. Nobody really knows. So I think it's the best time to cover it. And that is... Russell Wilson. Dangerous Wilson. Mr. Unlimited. As he wants to call himself. I think Dangerous. Dangerous. I think that's the better name. But it's him. He can do whatever he wants. Right? You know? He's Russell Wilson. Yeah? Super Bowl champ. Super Bowl MVP. Is he Super Bowl MVP? No, Michael Smith got MVP, I think, during that. Anyway, he's a Super Bowl winning QB, very successful QB, who has voiced his um, aggravations with the Seahawks organization, mainly those um, concerns being his protection. He's tired of getting hit. And if you've been watching any Seahawks game, you know that he is running around most of the game. Now, granted, he's a very mobile quarterback. He's very... Um, on top of those situations, he can recover from those situations. The problem is, he doesn't want to be in those situations all the time. I feel like, aside from their lackluster defense this season, for majority of the season, the reason they really they didn't make it to the playoffs was because Russell really was never able to be comfortable during the whole game. And that feeling of comfort really is everything. Because we didn't have the greatest online this season, but... Alex Smith would not have been able to play again. He would have probably not felt comfortable playing again had we had an O-line that was letting the QB get hit all the time. Did Alex get hit a good amount of times? Yes, but was it near as much as Russell? Heck no. And Russell has just come out and, you know, he's he's not saying he's not open to going to other teams. He's, when they've asked him, are you available for trade? He said, that's not a question I can answer. That's up to the Seahawks. And you have to assume that naturally there's a chance he becomes available. Now, even if there's a 1% chance that he becomes available, we have to take it as a certainty that he has to be an option, right? So, we have to act upon that. And therefore, Washington has been um, keeping an eye on the conversations per many sources, but especially from, I think, Jason LaCanfora. I might have pronounce his name wrong, but y'all know who I'm talking about. If you're watching this video, you probably have heard of him. He said that we're monitoring it, which is all we can do at the moment. Seattle hasn't made him available. I don't know why they would ever make him available. I mean, it's Russell Wilson. He does so much for the city. He's the face of the team. If he leaves, the team gone to crap. I mean, that's I don't think that's a shocking fact to anybody. I think that's pretty obvious coming I think it's a pretty obvious stat because he's the only, like, really, like, him and Bobby Wagner are the only stable pieces they've had over all these years, you know? And everything else has just been in and out, in one in the door, another one out the door. It's basically like you're Zach and Cody and people just go into that revolving door rapidly. It's kind of how Seattle's been, minus a few key pieces along the way. And, you know, they, they don't want to let go of Russell, but I had to cut away for a second. I am back. I was talking about uh, problems with the organization. So, yes, and we're in the age where somebody can vocalize their discomfort with the organization and act upon it. I said that before, but I'm having to recollect everything I was just saying because I had to step away for a second. And can seek a new home, a new place to do their work and you know you're seeing it a lot in the NBA and NFL now especially in NFL you know with Antonio Brown Le'Veon Bell uh well Antonio was kind of a different situation but it's the same general thing what's going on with Deshaun Watson right now you know what has been thrown out as a possible thing with um Dak Prescott you know if he's unhappy he can vocalize that unhappiness and it's going to be okay for him because of the nature of the business now and the old guard in the NFL are the ones that prevent a lot of these big deals from happening immediately. 
I think the new guard coming into the NFL is very much about if you want to come play here, come play here. If you don't want to come play here, then don't play here. You know, we don't want anybody that's not going to give in their full effort or is going to always be 100% for the team. Because you want somebody that's always going to be there, always cheering you along. And you have this guy who's your face of the franchise coming out and saying, yeah, I have a lot of issues with the team, and I think there's conversations to be had that I'm not able to have. And I agree with Russell. I think he should be having these conversations with the Seahawks brass. I think that's a very important conversation to have. You know, he's the quarterback. You ask him what he needs. He needs protection. You're getting them receivers. You're getting them some running backs. You know, they're starting to find some diamonds in the rough. But what you really got to have is that line. Because if you don't have a line, you can't do anything in the whole game. And Washington is monitoring it. Just imagine Washington. Oh, oh boy. We have, what, D.C. to D.C.? Um, we didn't have a nickname for Dak Prescott. We got um, possibly Washington Watson. What about Washington Wilson? I like the sound of that. I like Washington Wilson. Of all the quarterbacks that are available, he and Dak are my top. And then it's Deshaun Watson and then it's Derek Carr. Um, but, you know, Russell just has this intangible talent. You know, it's it's amazing just the natural ability he has to be a leader, how to be the face of the franchise, be everything you need him to be and more. He's such, And he's Walter Payton Man of the Year. That says enough in itself. That's the highest regarded award in my opinion, in the NFL, bigger than MVP. And he just got it this year, which is absolutely amazing for stuff he does, you know, for Seattle and just around the world and around the country. And a uh, fun fact, he's actually a Washington fan. He has said on a couple of occasions he keeps tabs on Washington because he grew up in the area. He grew up, I think, in the Richmond area, not too far away from here, about an hour, a little hour, give or take, from here. So he's very, you know, from the area – and I think he would love to be back in Washington. I think if there's a team he'd want to play for that's not Seahawks, it's Washington. But at the end of the day, he had to realize he's a Hawk. He wants to be a Hawk. I mean, everything he says usually ends with, go Hawks or go 12s, you know. And that's a, such a powerful fan base. I'd hate for them to lose Russell. I really would because they love him and he loves them. And I think that it's so important. But, you know, selfishly, as a Washington fan, you have to be like, that skill. A talent to move out the pocket, to make plays out of nothing, to run around and somehow find an open receiver. I mean, we've seen these crazy plays over the years. So Doug Baldwin, Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, DJ Moore, some of these plays that he can make to these receivers, some that are no names, some of that are no names, and can make a whole game, make a competitive game out of it. And I think he would just be great in Washington. Because, you know, we're in, you know, Alex Smith wants to come back. That's been known. It came out in the past couple of days. He wants to come back. That's great. But let's explore other options. I think Washington's doing a very good job at exploring every option at QB. And I hope that we can capitalize upon it, whether we keep Alex and draft him someone to be the backup and let Taylor Heineke take that second spot and let him take the third string. I don't know. I don't know. But... You'd be crazy to not want Russell Wilson in Washington. And I'm down for it. I know you have to be down for it. And it's a crazy thought. It's crazy that we're even contemplating. If you had told me a week ago I'd be talking about a possible Russell Wilson trade to Washington, you'd be crazy. And now you're asking, well, what would we have to give up for Russell? A lot. We'd have to give up a lot. Definitely a couple first rounds, which for this case I'm okay with. I'm okay with a couple first rounds. Um... Because I think the only way he gets out is if he's traded. I don't think he'll ever be released. I think Seahawks are like, if we're going to get rid of this face of the franchise, this, this, uh, the marquee player, we have to get something really good in return. And I hate to think of a player we'd have to give up for him because I have a few in mind. I don't even want to speak their names into existence because I don't want to even make that a possibility. But we have to consider that it could be a possibility. That we might lose somebody if Washington really wants to go after Russell if he becomes available. But he's not available yet. So we'll have to see how it all goes out. You know, Washington Wilson, I like it. And uh, I know a bunch of you out there will like it because this guy is just loaded with talent that we could use. And, uh, yeah, 
So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time of a brand new episode of Washington Station to the channel. Make sure to check out all the links below. I'm Morris, and I'm out. Stay safe. Peace.